Yabba dabba YouTube, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Zockstar once again coming at you with another vlog on today's vlog we are going to the embassy and we're gonna show you what's needed to renew a Philippines passport in Australia there are a few places you can renew your passport in Sydney at the Philippines Consulate and in Canberra at the Philippines Embassy. In Melbourne they do have a mobile mission that comes down once every year <coughs> and you need to make a booking for that. There's limited slots if you don't get in bad luck you've got to come back the next year or come to Canberra or Sydney. Uh, so we're in Canberra at the moment and it's bloody freezing it's minus 1.3 degrees I think it is it's freezing there's fog here but not that bad but anyway we're just getting ready now and we're going to go down grab a coffee and head off to the embassy hopefully be one of the first and get all this sorted out so without any further ado let's scooby doo guys yes we are in Canberra the ACT the Australian Capital Territory as you can see it's freezing it's minus 1.3 here in Canberra today Monday morning and we are getting ready to go down to the Philippines Embassy to try and renew this Philippines passport um, on the website it was saying things that you need a PSA certificate and you need all these other documents now it's weird we're, we're waiting to get one from the Philippines but we're having some issues there with that <coughs> and just the other day I noticed I actually thought I'm gonna ring up because I'm, I kept getting different feedback from different people and one person said to me um, you don't need any how can I say, any sort of birth certificates to renew it. All it said it needed was, all it said that you needed was, was a passport, your current passport, a copy of your visa from here in Australia, and the application form. And after going through everything that we were being told by previous people, it was just weird. Um, one minute people are telling you one thing and the next minute they're telling you another thing and I actually rang them up and confirmed and actually got someone's name to confirm if and when we got here if there would be a problem um, so we decided a uh, last minute let's do it let's let's just go um, it's a bit pricey when you want to fly up here from Melbourne it's about 200 fifty dollars a return ticket from Melbourne to Canberra um, each and then accommodation so it's a costly exercise to come here uh, but we decided it was a cheaper option to drive so we jumped in the in our new car and we've driven up it took us about eight hours to get to get here um, one tank of petrol not even uh, filled up sixty dollars and we're here still got like a quarter of a tank petrol so that's going to be another sixty dollars to get back and that's hundred twenty dollars compared to five hundred plus flying here wife's getting ready she's getting dressed i'm standing out here i'm freezing i don't know if you can see my hands shaking just trying to hold the camera here you can see the fog i can see the fog on the screen it's unbelievable i'm not vaping not yet anyway but um yeah it's freezing here so i'm going to go back inside put the camera down get ready go downstairs get a coffee and then head off down to the embassy which is about 10 minutes away from the hotel where we're staying at so I want to try and get there first get that sorted out and then we're going to go for a bit of a drive down to the coast all right guys so we're in Canberra it's the, the 12th of August it's freezing 
minus 1.3 earlier on. Actually, got to like 1. minus 2 this morning. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, can I please just have a uh, medium cappuccino with two sugars, please? Full cream milk? Yes, please. That comes to 480. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Five minutes now. Yeah, we're we'll just, we're just gonna sit there and just say, oh, my husband just left. He'll be back in one second. Five minutes. Yeah. So we've just come here now to the Philippine Embassy, and I had the federales just ask some questions, take my ID, just because I'm recording this. So this is the Philippines Embassy. This is the Embassy area. All the embassies are here. Um, you will find there's there's only four car parks here, but you can park over there, or you sort of can and can't. Um, the guy said if they come along and find you, that's your problem. But that's how it is. Most of the people here are parking here, so it looks like we're in. Hopefully, we don't get a parking fine when we come out. And this is it. This is the Philippines Embassy here. I think we've got to push the button here to get in. So we'll see how we go. See you soon. This is the embassy here. I take it we're going into this building up on the left here. The, the, the Federale told me there's about 60 embassies in this area. They're all patrolled. And for, for a good thing, you don't want any terrorists coming along here. So, I don't know. But we'll go up this way and see how we go once we get in there. Catch you soon. in then they just call your name out then you go in for your photo job's done all right guys so that's it done Less than 30 minutes. Went in. You sign in. Huh? Yeah, all she goes, you just gotta check the website on the on that date. If it's available, you send that in. So that was the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, like I was saying to the wife, that would have taken all day in the Philippines. Waiting in line, thousands of people. This is the consulate, or no, this is the embassy in Canberra. There's probably about 20 people inside. I think the consulate in Sydney's probably got more people so it might take a little bit longer there but we were in and out within 30 minutes jobs done all we need to do now is check the um, check the website uh, within a couple of weeks if it's available if the passport is available then we send our de uh, our or the wife sends her passport in an express post envelope to the embassy here with the return it uh, self-addressed envelope once they get that, they send it back to our home. Simple. What that cost? One hundred and eight dollars. One hundred and eight dollars. So the cost was one hundred and eight dollars for ten years. All we had to provide, which was amazing, was just the actual passport and the visa letter. That's it. Done. So there you go. There you go, guys. Passport renewal in the in uh, Philippines. Passport renewal in Australia. Less than half an hour. All right, let's go back to the hotel and let's see if we can get down to Bateman's Bay and check out what that's like. Stay tuned. Three hours later. All right, guys, so we have stopped here at Brulee Beach. A little bit south of Bateman's Bay, but I thought we'd just come and have a look at this place first. See, it's really nice here. Nice beach. Next 
Turns all the way, all the way down to there, and then further, and then all the way down as far as the eye can see down to there. So this is Brawley Beach, B R O U L double E Brawley. As you can see, some big waves here. There's some big waves coming in. Um, the higher you get, the bigger the wind is. So let's shoot off to Batemans Bay and see what that's like. See you soon. All right, so we've arrived here at Batemans Bay, and it's not what I thought it was. If you're coming here, you really need to go a little bit outside of Batemans Bay, preferably Long Beach. Looking on the map here, yeah, Long Beach and Maloney's Beach, which is, let me just open the window, which is, I don't know, let me zoom up a bit, which is way down there, that's where I wanted to go, along those cliffs along there, and even all the way down there. Now it's getting late, it's uh, 3.30, it's going to take us about two and a half hours to get back to Canberra. So we're just going to get out here, take a couple of snaps and then head on back home to our hotel. Oh. Don't know how well you're hearing this sound, this is, camera doesn't block the wind noise that well. Bay, huh? This is the world famous Batemans Bay. <laughs> I guess it has its nice features, like down there, on those little sort of little islands. And as you go out either side of the bay here, there's all that beautiful eastern coastline of Australia. So time for a few pics, and then we'll head off home. Three 
hours later. Guys, we're back. We've come back from our drive. We went to Brulee Beach. We went to Batemans Bay. Uh, Batemans Bay wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it was something a bit closer to the ocean there, but it is what it is. Um, we're back now, so we're just having a bit of a break. Wife's having a glass of wine. I'm having a Hopefully you might be able to guess. That's right, Uncle Jack. Just stopped off at the Coles supermarket, picked up some water for our trip tomorrow and a couple of drinks. Cheers guys. So that was it guys. Um hope you enjoyed the the sort of sort of an instructional video on how to renew your Philippines passport in in Australia. Quite simple, actually. All you need to do is yeah, bring yourself here, um, take your passport, your current valid passport, your Vivo letter from the immigration, your visa, really, and an application form. That's it. Um, speaking to one of the other ladies there that was doing the same thing and yeah we sort of had a bit of a chuckle a bit of a laugh about how easy it was in and out less than 30 minutes no no lies less than 30 minutes um, and she sort of said to me how difficult this is to do in the philippines you, you'll be there more or less all day um, I think that's just partly due to the amount of people in the Philippines and I don't know, for some reason every day there's hundreds and thousands of people wanting to renew their passport. But um, here in Canberra there's not much of a Filipino community. Um, I think I said it before, if most people decide to renew their passport here in Australia they do go to Sydney. Um, I haven't been there but I'm assuming Sydney's a bigger place People might go there because there's more to see in Canberra. There's not much to see here. We've been here two days and uh, we didn't do much. We went there, did the embassy this morning, like you saw. We're in, I think, 9.30. We're out by 10. We came out. We went and had something. No, we got filled up the car, got ready, and we're on our, took off to um, Batemans Bay. Took two and a half hours to get there. Two and a half hours to get back. We just got back. So there you have it guys. Um, that was our part instructional video on how to renew your passport in Australia if you're a Filipino. And a bit of a day trip for you just to have a look. I did fly the drone um, at Brulee Beach. Hope you liked that. It wasn't much. It got very windy and yeah, I just didn't want to risk losing my $3,000 drone in the ocean. The waves were huge. They looked like about three to four meter swells and I didn't want to go out there to try and fish the drone out. So there you have it guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if, you're, if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you are notified each time I upload a new video. So until the next video guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.